as we continue to consider what will make us better human beings. We're looking at the Christian concept of grace. I've been digging for a deeper understanding, and I came across a book Philip Yancey wrote years ago entitled, What's So Amazing About Grace? In an interview with him, he recalled someone writing to him, accidentally referring to his book as, What's So Annoying About Grace? <laughs> grace can be annoying, especially when this free gift really isn't complete unless you not only receive it, but give it as well. That can be annoying. In the book of Romans, Paul writes of grace as the foundation in which Christians stand. And in standing in grace, we rejoice in God's glory. But not only that, we also take part in Christ's suffering. The suffering produces perseverance, which produces character, which produces hope, <sighs> glory, and suffering, perseverance, and hope, grace, and character, gift given and received. They all go together. We are covered by God's grace. But it's not just for us. This week, we will look at our stand in grace and what it means for the world. I hope you'll join me.